With the Advantech subfloor assembly, you can be sure that you're building a reputation on something stronger. And the best builders, well, they may always stand apart, but they never stand alone. So ask yourself, are you bringing your A-game? Hey everybody, welcome back to the Before the Build series. We continue to move up that wall. We're looking at exterior wall details. And today we're talking about the second floor band joist area. That's where the first floor wall, the second floor frame, and the second floor bottom of exterior wall all meet. And we look at the transitions and such that uh, happen there. So anyways, let's dive in. Let's get big red. Let's get some details and let's get talking. All right, everybody. So, here we have that building section I've been, been working on. Today we're going to talk about that second floor band joist area, which is right there. And uh, remember last week we talked about the first floor, we called it the water table. This is the band joist area because it's basically the band of the floor frame as it goes around the second floor. So, we're going to dive into that detail there. We got it right here, so let's swap those out, register our plan, our detail, and let's talk. Oh, grabbed the wrong one. There we go. Second floor band joist detail. All right, so you can see here, this is the top of our first floor wall it comes up and there's our top plate double top plate and you can see here we have our T stud happening below that comes up into our floor frame looks very similar to first floor frame that's not atypical for construction um, we pretty much keep things going in the same direction when we can keep them the same sizes same assembly type um, there's some security and low risk in repetitive um, assemblies. There's our 7 8 inch floor assembly by Advantech. And then this is the bottom plate of the wall. There's our T stud again. And you, that is nothing more than kind of the mirrored version of that and then you can see here we have our insulation in this case here we have the same as down below we did a four inch foam lock closed cell GWP of one All right GWP is the global warming potential it's kind of the environment environmental measurement um, a qualitative measurement of the material inside or below first floor and above second floor walls we have the Seeger Myrex vapor retarder and then for thermal we have our Havelock wool blown in the wall we have our zip R9 and the beauty of the external continuous insulation is notice that it just doesn't cover the wall but it goes right past the floor assembly all the way down and we know what I'm gonna say now right continuity is key all right we love continuity and if we can put that rigid insulation on the outside and get a nice continuous blanket on the house or sweater whatever metaphor you want to use but the idea is basically we are getting this continuity around then we have our three inch spacer 24 inches on center and then we have our exterior sheathing so you know second floor band joist it's probably not the most exciting detail on the house but nonetheless we have to maintain continuity from this wall assembly to that wall assembly through the floor frame so a bunch of little things to think about there and uh, have at it so got a great little slideshow coming up so 
Enjoy the slideshow.